good morning everyone and also good evening to everyone first of all welcome to triotech software trainings today we are going to have a demo session on oracle fusion hcm cloud application so before starting the demo session let me let me introduce about myself so and then we can start our session for today so myself i am kumar and i will be the trainer for you for the next 45 to 50 days for this particular training on this oracle fusion hcm cloud application so coming to my experience i am having about 5 and a half to 6 years of experience in this oracle fusion applications prior to that i am having experience in other technologies which is also relevant to the hr modules so in this experience that i am having in this oracle fusion applications i have been part of six implementation projects and also some support projects along with them so i am having multiple exposure i mean multiple legislation exposures in these implementation project so i feel it would be helpful to you as we i will be sharing the knowledge that i got with this application with that multi legislation experience so let's start our demo for today so our agenda for today training will be starting with oracle fusion applications evaluation overview here we are going to discuss about what is meant by oracle fusion hcm cloud application so how it got evolved and when it got introduced into the market and also we will see what are all the routes that laid a path for coming up with this new application by oracle and also we will see what exactly our oracle fusion hcm cloud application means everyone is talking about oracle cloud or oracle fusion cloud or fusion hcm cloud now in this session i will make you clear what exactly this application means what the software will provide to the client and then we will have a discussion on on premise versus cloud options so in this oracle fusion applications we are having two options that is on premise and cloud for purchasing this oracle fusion application and then we will also have a clear discussion on the fusion environment releases so when it got entered into the market and also we will see how many releases till now that oracle has been given for to this oracle fusion hcm cloud application and we will see right now we are in which release and what could be the every year how many upgrades that environmental will go through i will explain you in this and then we will see in the cloud model we are having three deployment options one is saas that is software as a service and the second one is pass platform as a service and the third one is software sorry ias model that is infrastructure as service so three models we are having i mean three deployment models we are having in the cloud that is saas ias and pass so we will discuss what are these three deployment options and how the client will choose on which deployment option he want to purchase the license from oracle and then we are going to see about the modules that we are going to cover in this course so here we will be discussing about what are all the available modules in this oracle fusion hcm and in that how many modules that we are going to uh, cover in this particular training we will see and then we will be talking about the types of project in the oracle fusion application nothing but in this oracle fusion application if anyone want to start their career in this particular tool or technology so typically how many types of projects that will be there in the market and straight from implementation support and the testing project so i will make you understand in this session what is the implementation project means 
so who are all the people will be involved in that particular project and what could be our role in that project or else if it is a support project means what is meant by that and who are all the people will be involving and what is the support process will be there in the existing market we will see and then finally we will find up the session with why to choose triotech software trainings so let's start our session for today the first thing that we are going to discuss today is oracle fusion applications evaluation overview so the slide which i put up on here it will be explaining the fusion evaluation part but before starting the fusion evaluation and when it introduced into the market let me explain you what exactly this oracle fusion hcm cloud application means basically this application is part of erp family so erp is nothing but a platform or a different types of softwares which are available in the market for the clients or the customers to utilize nothing but let's take the example you can take any company it might be a reliance or it might be a itc or it might be a google anything for every company there will be different business activities that they are going to perform in their day to day activities right from they will have a hr related works in their organization i mean the hr related department and then financial related departments and then supply chain or the sales related departments it's up to the company how it's into the, i mean how that company is in the market what type of business it is into the market but every company will have different business activities that they have to perform in their organization in order to perform all these activities they require a software or they require a application to perform these things let's come to our application that is we are discussing today about oracle fusion hcm cloud application so what the software or a technology or an application if any company purchasing from oracle for utilizing in their organization what it will do this particular application is a hr related application in any company the hr people will do the hr related activities so what are those things the hr department in the company is responsible of hiring the employees identifying the gaps first and ident and then hiring the employees and they are responsible for maintaining their absences and their payroll processing every month and then their time card entries whether they came in on time or not if not how the deduction should take place and then after a year the performance evaluation of the employee and finally the exit of the employee the termination or resignation of the employee in any company the hr people will be there to maintain all these activities in the organization in order to perform all these duties they require a software or an application so what they will do they will utilize this application in order to perform all these activities if you see the traditional way everything used to maintain in a manual way like in the excel or in the word or it might be books but now for every uh, activity to perform we are having a robust applications available in the market so one such product or one such application which will be utilized by the hr people in the organization is called oracle fusion hcm cloud application so our software or an application or a technology which we are going to train you will be utilized by the hr people in the organization so now come to the fusion evaluation path when this particular product came out typically if you see before 2011 in the year 2011 oracle fusion cloud applications were launched into the market before 2011 the scenario is there are different companies 
which are uh, there in the market independently if you see on the slide here oracle siebel oracle jd edwards or oracle people soft enterprise oracle e business suite here prior to 2005 this people soft jd edwards or siebel or the hyperion these all are the individual companies which are providing their own applications or softwares to the client but the problem here is every applica every uh, application is having their own uh, what i would say excel at one part in the sense let, let's take the application of people soft people soft is good at hrms part in the sense though people soft is providing other modules also like finance or supply chain or crm people soft is having very good market or it's very good at hrms so every software is having their own strong points and then jd edwards is good at procurement and financials whereas siebel is very good at crm that is customer relationship management module hyperion is good for reporting and then ebs is good for financials but the question comes here which product that client should purchase because no product is having a good strong points in all the modules straight from hrms that is hr or finance supply chain crm reporting there is no product available in the market which is good at all the modules now the question to the clients is answerable by is answered by oracle because in the year 2005 oracle purchased siebel jd edwards people soft hyperion and some other companies and it clubbed together all these technologies and it came up with a new product called oracle fusion cloud applications so now this fusion application is developed by taking all the good strong technologies from the existing market and they were clubbed together and now a new robust product came into the market by oracle now the client's question is answered that oracle fusion application is the product which is good at all the modules straight from hrms procurement or financials crm reporting and then projects ppm whatever it might be this application is the right to choose to implement in our companies so this is the evaluation path of the fusion so in the year 2005 with 18 billion dollar acquisition oracle purchased all these technologies from the market and in the year 2011 they announced this oracle fusion cloud applications to the market prior to fusion oracle's existing product is e business suite and people soft is having its own software that is people soft jd edwards and siebel it's having their own applications so now yes though ebs people soft jd edwards siebel though are under oracle the clients which are in that particular technologies still oracle is continuing the support to them but soon or later it's going to stop that support and all the clients are moving towards the oracle fusion in fact oracle is suggesting the clients to move towards the fusion application which is an upgradation product and which is good at all the modules so this is what the oracle fusion evaluation path and now you can see oracle fusion applications is club of all the products which i explained you just now people soft siebel hyperion ebs and jd edwards and now before starting the difference between the on premise model and the cloud model i want to explain you here all these products jd edwards ebs people soft siebel all these products are on premise models whereas cloud is there in both on premise and cloud but when they initially introduced but now oracle fusion applications is only on 
cloud-based application. Means it is only on cloud, there is no on-premise. So now we will see what is on-premise and what is cloud model. So as I told you, we are having two models that is on-premise and cloud. What is on-premise and what is cloud? Here, on-premise means if client purchasing a application from the Oracle or any other vendor, he has to purchase the servers, he has to purchase the database centers, I mean data centers, and they should, they, they should recruit the database administrator to control these things. Nothing but on-premise, the name itself telling, the software will be installed in your own computers and the data centers, servers, everything will be maintained at your own place. So on-premise is nothing but client is going to maintain all the application. Nothing but its servers, data centers, everything will be installed in the client's own office premises. He has to install the application in this PC or computers and then he is also responsible for maintaining all those things like upgradations and the security of that, everything, the maintenance of that, everything has to be made, uh, taken care by the client itself, I mean the customer itself who is purchasing that application from the Oracle. Now coming to the cloud, cloud is nothing but any service that hosted over the internet. Here, software is hosted on the vendor's servers and accessed through a web browser. Vendor means Oracle who is selling the product. Everything will be maintained by Oracle, the data centers or the servers, everything will be maintained. Even the security also will be taken care by Oracle. The only thing here is client has to purchase the license from the Oracle and they have to start using the application. He will get the URL or he will get the instance that with the subscription which he paid and then he can use this application by sitting in any way, at any way. I mean, just a laptop is sufficient for him to utilize or in order to access to his application. Everything will be in cloud. The data, everything will be, application will be in the cloud. And here the maintenance of the application, upgradations, everything will be maintained by Oracle itself. But whereas on-premise, the application once you purchasing from the client, you have to install all the things at your own premises. So these are the two options that are available in the market that is on-premise and cloud. The best example for cloud, we can say Google Gmail. So which we'll be using by everyone now. Gmail, what we are, what we are doing, just we are clicking on the Gmail and we are logging with your username and password. And then we are using that for sending the mails or sharing the information like that. So the cloud application also will be like that only. So Oracle Fusion HCM cloud application is also on cloud where the client can utilize this application by sitting in any place or at any, on any uh, computer or a laptop, he can utilize this application. Now, Oracle cloud deployment models. But before proceeding to these cloud deployment models, we will see in the Oracle Fusion HCM cloud application itself, client offered on-premise and cloud for some of its releases. So when the application is launched in the year 2011, from, then, from that time to now, these are all the releases that Fusion application has gone through. So it opened up, I mean, it started with release one and release two, release three, it got upgraded and now we are in release 13 and 19 D. So what is this 19 D I will explain you, but these are all the Oracle Fusion Cloud releases starting from release one to release 13. So 
from release 1 to release 9 oracle provided both on premise model as well as cloud model for the client it's up to the client requirement to choose which model but from release 9 from release 10 it stopped the on premise model oracle now providing the fusion applications only on cloud there is no on premise model in the fusion application but prior to r10 release 1 to 9 they provided both on premise as well as cloud so it's client requirement to choose which one now these are all the releases of oracle fusion application and every year there will be four upgradations like every quarter so 19d means 2019 and the version is d release 13 19 d so the next coming release will be release 13 20 a in 2020 we entered so 20 a and then after three months it will be 20 b 20 c 20 d and then in the 2021 it will be 21 a it might be like that so a b c d every year four upgrades will be given by oracle to this oracle fusion applications so currently we are in release 13 19 d and the coming upgrade in the month of march we will be seeing 20 a so our training also will be done on release 13 19 d which is the latest version and then now let's move to the cloud deployment options in the cloud option we are having three types of deployment again so oracle providing the client in order to subscribe the license they are having three deployment options that is software as a service which we will call as saas model platform as a service pass model and infrastructure as a service so here on premises which are seeing nothing but let's suppose any client or any customer who want to purchase an application from oracle they require entire package of all these things to have that application straight from they need application the data centers runtime middleware operating system virtualization servers storage networking so it's a kind of software package which is required to have a application so now we are having three deployment models so client can choose in this cloud model in this cloud product to go for which deployment model so see the legend you manage and other manage you manage means customer who is purchasing the product from oracle will be managing other managers means vendor i mean the oracle will be managing these things if customer is going for a saas product oracle fusion saas product then you can see everything will be maintained by oracle itself just the client have to purchase the license from oracle and they can start utilizing by logging into the application here entire the data runtime middleware operating servers security networking everything will be taken care by oracle itself so the drawback here in saas model is the level of customization is zero here whatever the standard product delivered by oracle we have to use the same product in our requirements if we are require any customizations we cannot go here in the saas model so here in the saas the level of customization is zero but everything will be maintained by oracle itself the burden for the client will be very very low you can say zero the cost of the saas product is also low and the maintenance is as maintenance is zero even the cost is also zero and then coming to platform as a service here application and data will be maintained by oracle 
whereas this middleware components operating system servers storage networking these aspects will be maintained by client well, sorry application and data will be maintained by client whereas this runtime servers storage and networking these things will be maintained by oracle so here in the pass model the level of customization is there but in saas there is no customization but here as you are maintaining the applications and data related to that here you will have a scope of customization and then coming to infrastructure as a service till operating system you will be managing i mean client or the customer who is purchasing the product will manage whereas the, the servers storage and networking will be managed by oracle here in the infrastructure as service the customization scope is very high because you are maintaining the application and you are responsible for maintaining these middleware operating systems everything the scope of customization is very high so it's up to the client requirement to choose which type of deployment model he want to purchase whether you want to purchase a saas model or a pass or a ias model here in the current market we can see major of i mean many clients major pro, i mean clients who purchased this oracle fusion applications they purchased the saas products if you going for any company for implementing this application then you might be also having this saas application only majorly as the cost incurrence is very low and the burden is very low and the maintenance is not there so clients going towards this saas product rather going with pass or ias but if they want to have their own database their own servers or they want to have high level of customizations because of their requirement then they will go to ias or pass mode so on premise is clear and in the cloud model we are having three deployment options again and then if client purchasing either it might be a saas pass or ias they are having two options again called public cloud and private cloud cloud product as i told what is it everything will be hosted by the vendor just you will be utilizing the application with the access which you are getting with your subscription so in this cloud deployment models we are having again two options called public cloud and private cloud so again oracle is providing the service to the clients to choose whether to have a public cloud or a private cloud so what is public cloud and what is private cloud here in the public cloud a common data center will be there which is maintained by oracle and the common data center will be shared across the multiple companies nothing but common data center and the common application this will be shared across multiple companies so company a b c d e these are different companies but they are going for a public cloud option it means everything will be maintained by oracle the data center is maintained by oracle here client no need to buy any additional licenses or any subscriptions for maintaining these things oracle itself will maintain everything and here the level of data theft everything will be also very low because people will have a misconception that if i go with a public cloud as the data center or the application is sharing across different companies my own data will be theft or will be shared to someone or what but here there are lot of firewalls which are built by oracle here the security is absolutely fine though you are going with a public cloud option also your data will be stored safely coming to the private cloud here oracle will provide a separate data center for respective to you only i mean here i am talking in perspective of the client or the customer who is purchasing the 
oracle fusion applications in the private cloud a private data center exclusively to that particular customer oracle will provide and here the companies which you are seeing are the same customer companies only but here in the public cloud a common data center and a common application is sharing across multiple companies in private cloud a customized data center or a uh, exclusive data center will be provided by oracle to that particular customer here oracle only will take and take care of the management of that monitoring patching security and upgradation of that services i mean upgradation of application everything will be maintained by oracle itself so these are the two options available and then to purchase before i mean whether it might be a saas ias or a pass mode so we are having public cloud and private cloud so on premise as we already discussed everything is responsible by you only it will be installed in your own office premises the hardware software license and support everything that you buy will be hosted by you and you are responsible of monitoring or security or patching and upgrades of that so these are all the cloud deployment options so is it clear to everyone any doubts you are having here or we can proceed to the next someone is starting here okay fine so then we will move to next thing so what we discussed here first we discussed on premise versus cloud so right now we are in cloud product so in cloud product how many deployment options we are having saas pass and ias within that how many options we are having public cloud and again private cloud so these are the cloud deployment options so now we will see oracle fusion applications product families so how many products that oracle fusion application i mean oracle is are providing to the clients so here on the screen you are seeing human capital management financial management procurement project portfolio supply chain and crm so these are the different products that oracle is providing to the clients that is what we are learning today is one such product among this that is human capital management so oracle fusion hcm will be uh, there to maintain all the hr related activities straight from configuring their enterprise structures the jobs positions locations or departments so called things and then the absence management the payroll management talent or the time and labor all these will come in this human capital management like that for financial aspects oracle is providing oracle fusion financials which will be talking about the general ledger or the accounts payables receivable cash management all these things and then the crm product is one product which will be you which will be used by the sales and marketing people in the organization so there will be different modules in that crm product with sales marketing customer master all these things so like that for supply chain one product we are having that is oracle fusion scm that is supply chain management and ppm we are having project portfolio management and procurement we are having one more product so these are all the oracle fusion application product families but now what we are going to discuss we are going to see about oracle fusion hcm cloud application which is one among different applications provided by oracle and now we will see the modules in fusion hcm so these are all the available modules in the oracle fusion hcm cloud application starting with global hr absence management payroll management time and labor compensation and benefits goals and performance management 
along with that oracle is providing some other advanced modules that is orc recruitment cloud and learn here in this training we are going to cover four modules from this that is global human resource absence management payroll and then goals talent and performance management we are going to cover four modules and along with that four modules in the next coming slide i will explain you the technical aspects that are there in this fusion application so we are going to see four modules and also the technical concepts in this particular fusion application so in global hr module we will be discussing about the enterprise structure of the client so what how many companies that client is having and how many divisions the company is into or how many jobs positions or what are the grades or the positions so all these things we are going to discuss in global hr whereas hiring of the employees promoting of the employees or transferring or adding one more work or assignment to the employee or resignation of the employee or termination of the employee all these things we are going to see in the global hr module first we will be seeing the configuration part and then we will be seeing the transactional part like how to hire an employee in the fusion application and how to add any assignment to the employee so all these things we are going to see in the global hr module and then in the absence management module we will have different types of absence plans so in every organization there will be different types of leaves that the client is providing to the employees so how to configure that absence plans there will be different criteria which will be telling that this plan i mean this leave is for this employee and this leave is for this employee we have to configure all these things in the absence management and then in the payroll we will be configuring the uh, payrolls that is monthly payroll or weekly payroll bi weekly payroll and then the banks and then payment methods and then we will see how to create the elements and how to process the payroll all these things we are going to see in the payroll mode in the talent goals and performance management as we know this module will be there for performance evaluation of the person how to create the goals what is meant by goals first we will discuss and how to create that how to attach to the individuals that is employees and how to perform the performance evaluation these things we are going to see in the goals talent and performance management so time and labor and compensation benefits are also part of this oracle fusion xcm cloud application but uh, here in this training we are not covering the two modules and then uh, advanced modules also we are not covering but i want to show you what are all the modules that are available in the fusion hcm cloud application and then oracle fusion hcm offerings what is meant by offering offering is nothing but any service that you are getting nothing but oracle is providing the services to the customers in the form of offerings in the oracle fusion hcm cloud application we are having three types of offerings that is workforce deployment workforce development and compensation management nothing but oracle is providing oracle workforce deployment offering as a service which is covering our modules of global hr payroll absence management time and labor all these things and in the workforce deployment offering we will have the modules of goals talent and performance management talent review performance management goal management succession so these module will be covered under the offerings of workforce development and compensation management will be providing us the access of compensation and the benefits module nothing but in the first slide whatever i have shown you all the modules that are available in the fusion hcm cloud 
here oracle is providing these modules under three offerings deployment development and the compensation management so this pan business process what you are seeing here that is fast formula profile management workforce directory these are all the tasks we can say associated within these modules itself so how many offerings we are having three offerings we are having under that how many modules we are ha having these are the modules we are having in this application so in the global hr as i told we are going to see the configurations of enterprise structures and the workforce structures and then hiring of the employees terminations all these things and then absence management also we discuss the payroll we are having two aspects that is global payroll and localizations and the global payroll interface here in the payroll we have to discuss oracle is providing localizations for specific countries where oracle is having good market they developed the payroll with the localization scope nothing but let's take the example of us if any company purchasing oracle fusion application in us to implement in their company there the payroll is a predefined legislation so there will be different taxes in us like federal tax county tax different taxes which employees has to pay so all these components and calculations are predefined by oracle itself in the application so like for us uk canada and uh, in saudi arabia for these specific countries for about seven countries across the globe oracle's predefined legislations are available and the localizations are available but if some countries if you take like sri lanka or anything zambia for these countries as a presence is very low oracle didn't provide the localization concept we have to create all the tax components associated to that legislation customly we have to create them. for that particular thing global payroll interface nothing but if client purchase only global hr and absence management module only from oracle payroll they want to uh, have in some other third party system i mean their payroll in their organization is maintaining in some other third party application or a software so we have to integrate our global hr and then our absence management with payroll module so for that global payroll interface will be helpful to us so these are the oracle fusion hcm offerings so along with the modules we are going to see the other fusion hcm task nothing but the technical aspects which are there in the fusion application so one is security console nothing but hcm security administration so in the fusion application we are having roles based access control i mean the security is built on roles based access control nothing but once we purchase a license from oracle they will give the user id and password so once getting of the user id and password we will create more user accounts in that i mean for our employees everyone and then what are all the screens that they should get access all these things will be coming in the security administration how to create the roles in the system first we will discuss how many roles are there in the application how to attach these roles to the employees to get access to the application and then how to create first the user accounts all these aspects we are going to see in the security administration and then we are going to see workflow approvals and notifications nothing but in every organization there will be certain approval policies if employee is applying for a absence then his request should be going to the manager for approval so it might be not only applying of absence it might be when hiring an employee or terminating an employee or transferring an employee there will be some superiors to whom the approval should be routed so all these configurations related to approvals and notifications we are going to discuss in this training and then inbound integrations and outbound integrations 
here we are having two concepts called inbound and outbound integrations what are this inbound and what are this outbound here inbound means the name itself telling the any data from outside the oracle fusion applications will be coming into the fusion hcm application i think but any so data that is available in the client's existing software in order to migrate the data from the client's existing systems to our fusion hcm cloud application we are having three types of tools provided by oracle that is hcm data loader spreadsheet data loader and payroll batch loader by utilizing these things we can upload the data into the fusion application in a bulk like when we are going to the client place for implementing then we will be having lots of employees mean, the employees of the company's uh, account is very high and that by that time they might be using some third party softwares or applications for maintaining these things so how to migrate all these data from that third party system to the fusion hcm cloud application we are having these specific tools provided by oracle we are going to see how to migrate the data into the application in a bulk and then coming to outbound integration any data that we are going to pull from the fusion application to outside nothing but let's suppose client is asking i want to generate a report stating that how many employees are there in my company in that so called department or for how many employees this month payroll got processed so whatever it might be how to pull this information from the fusion application again we are having through three tools provided by oracle that is hcm extracts bi that is business intelligence and otbi that is oracle transactional business intelligence so by utilizing these three tools we can generate reports in the fusion application so we can uh, output that reports in several ways like through in excel format or pdf word whatever it might be so we have, we will be covering that outbound integration scope as well in this training and then the final thing is customization and personalization so once once i show you the application then you will be understanding how the fusion application will be there so in order to change any look and feel of the page or you want to change any colors or any themes or to that page or you want to do uh, hide a, hide out any specific areas on the screen or for all these customizations we can do through sandbox so we are going to explain you in about the sandbox also how to use this sandbox for doing the customizations and personalizations so this these are all the tasks along with that modules which are available in the oracle fusion hcm cloud application so now we will see types of companies here i put this slide just for uh, keeping freshers in the mind to understand who will be the typically types of companies involving in this oracle fusion product we will be having three companies here that is service provider client and the consulting companies service provider is nothing but the company who is selling the product nothing but oracle india private limited oracle is going to sell the oracle fusion hcm cloud application to the customers so he is the service provider here not only oracle some companies like deloitte ibm accenture these companies will also have partnered with oracle to sell the product so sometimes these companies also become the service providers so now client who is client the client is nothing but customer the company who is purchasing that oracle product from the oracle so example i have kept like lnt or virgin or reliance industries who want to implement that oracle fusion applications in their organization 
so these are the clients that will be in the market and then consulting companies here come into the picture i mean we will be coming into the picture so we are the consultants who is going to implement that oracle product to the client here companies who is implementing that product nothing but oracle sold the product to let's suppose reliance industries these reliance industries want to use that application which they purchased from the oracle but they don't know how to implement that application according to their requirement so what they will do they will give that project to consulting companies here we will be coming into the picture deloitte techm cognizant or capgemini etc these are all the software consulting companies who will be taking up the projects from the client for implementing the application so these are the types of companies typically will be involving in this oracle or any other product in the market so now you will be clear who will be the service provider who will be the client and who will be the consulting company we will be working in these consulting companies and we will go to client for implementing that product which he purchased from the oracle so next we will move to types of users and then oracle fusion applications environment or instances so types of users so here here reliance industries purchased the application and then it gave the project to deloitte let's suppose and now here in this deloitte you will be working let's suppose so how many types of users will be there there will be two types of users typically will be there in this application one is consultant users and the second one is transactional or end users consultant users means we users who implementing that system so we from the software consulting firm we will be the consultant users and the transactional users are users who are using the system nothing but the employees in the client side let's suppose in our case reliance industries is going to implement is going to get implemented that oracle fusion application so these employees will be going to use the application so these are the end users i mean the employees of this organization or the end users so consultant users are we who are going to implement the system whereas uh, transactional or end users will be the people who are using the application and now we will see the fusion applications environment this concept i will be covering in the tomorrow session once we will start i mean once i show you the oracle fusion application access to you i mean once i show that screens to you then i will explain you what is environment or instance and what is the concept of cloning and all these things so this is the welcome email nothing but when client purchase license from oracle he will get the welcome email like this with the username and the password by logging into the application he will be getting access to the application and he will create more user accounts and then he will share that user accounts to their employees like that so just for showing you the high level understanding how it will be i have kept that welcome mail and then these cross functional teams or tracks in company and the team size these concepts also we will see once we start uh, discussing about the application once we see the access how to log into the application then we will discuss about this cross functional teams or tracks in the company and what will be the team size for the implementation project and support firm so now we will see the types of projects that will be there in this application that are associated with this application so there will be typically three types of projects 
that is implementation project support project and testing projects so anyone who want to start their career in this technology once they got selected for any company they might be getting any of these projects for working it might be a implementation project or a support or a testing so what will be there in implementation project now reliance industries purchased license from oracle to implement the software in their organization so they approach deloitte for implementing that nothing but here deloitte people go there for implementing that application to the reliance industries in the implementation project we are going to configure the application according to the client's requirement we will first take the requirement from the client like what is their existing business process how many companies they are having like how many departments they are having what are all the jobs they are having positions paid department and the types of absences they are having types of payrolls so everything we are going to configure the system here for the clients in the implementation project and then after implementation project the support projects will come into the picture so here we implemented and we hand over to the client and client starting you started using the system in their day to day activities now client people might not have a good knowledge about that application because who will be the end users they are not technical guys or they are not the it guys who is related to this technology they are the hr people in their organization who is using this product so once they start using the product as a end users they might get several issues the i mean the process might gone errors the hr is trying to hire an employee but it's not submitted it's throwing a error on the screen so for that what they will do they will give support projects to the companies again so whenever they got any issue in the real time usage they will send a ticket to that support company who is having holding that support project and then here we will rectify the issue and then we will solve that to the client so in the support project we are having different process straight from service request we will be receiving the service request so that how to raise the sr and what could be the flow and what is the solution that we will provide what are all the statuses involved that we are going to cover in detail at later point but in the support project we are going to provide support to the clients and solve their issues and then in the testing projects during the time of implementation before going uh, handovering the system to the client client may give testing project to some people in order to check whether all the functionalities are working fine or not so in the testing project you will be testing all the processes in the application you will hire an employee and you will check you will terminate the employee or you will transfer the employee you will apply the leave so here everything will be tested in the testing project so once you got into any company in this application or in this technology you might be getting into any of these projects it might be implementation or a support or it might be a testing so finally why to choose triotech software trainings so here we are having i mean we are providing the courses in fusion hcm and then we are providing the financial supply chain ppm everything and for all the courses we are having a best certified industry experts like who is having a good vast knowledge and then the implementations which they have done they will be sharing with you and the entire course will be going through like a project once you complete this course by end of the 45th or 50th session you might get a feel of one full implementation project has been done here so more real time specific scenarios will be explained to you and the real time requirements will be shared to you and you can also practice on that for every module we are going to provide the course materials and then 24 by 7 whenever you got any issue during the practice time you can ping to us through mail or through whatsapp 
or you can drop a ticket in our website also and also we will be providing you the video access to you for about six months video access of all the sessions which we covered now you can log in to our website and you will be seeing the videos option there you can click on that and password will be given to you after the enrollment you can access to your videos whenever you want and also we will be covering the trainings on the current latest releases and that will be shared to you for practice purpose a stable environment or application will be shared to you unlike other people we are going to share the standard stable one and also once the training is completed we are having a another uh, course which is designed for one month which is a, i mean purely the real time live project in that we will be assisting you of how to prepare the resume i mean we will be suggesting you how to prepare the resumes how to put up the projects and module by module interview questions will be shared with you and the mock interviews will be taken to you every three days or every week and then we will provide you the requirement of real times and we will ask you to configure that things and we will cross evaluate these aspects and we will explain you what could be the possible uh, things that you have missed in that thing. and these are all the aspects that we are having in our triotech software science trainings and that's all for today you can ask me any questions you are having or else we can wind up the session for today tomorrow we'll have a session with starting of the global hr module you will see the application how to logging into the application with the username and the password and we will start creating the implementation project and we will see the global hr module concept starting with configuring the enterprise so anyone is having any questions you can ask yes krishna okay okay yes yeah yeah as i told you this will be Uh, taken up in such a way that at the end of the session a full implementation flow you can see how the requirement will come from the client and with that requirement how we will configure the system so everything is like a implementation project we can uh, we can find at last we can uh, find that it's a full uh, implementation project we can see yeah yeah four modules we are going to cover that is global hr absence payroll talent goals and performance yeah do technical aspects also will be covered at, at last we are going to cover these technical aspects first we will be concentrating more on functional and then we will be discussing about the technical also yes yes yeah, three deployment options correct saas i yes yes okay yeah Okay 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 then thank you everyone